Here we have an 8-bar drum loop whose volume we're going to fade in and out with automation using different entry methods. Our first job is to enable automation view. All doors have different ways of enabling this, but in Logic you either click this button, or you press your computer keyboard's A key, and the automation lanes are shown on their respective tracks. By default, our automation lane controls volume, which is the parameter that we want to change. Click on the line at the beginning of the region to place a control point. Then place a second point towards the end of the region. The vertical height of these control points, or nodes, represents the volume of the track at that point. At the moment they're both set at 0 dB, so there's no volume change. Drag the first node down vertically towards the bottom of the lane. You can see the attached volume value change as you do so. Drag it down till it ends up at about minus 24 dB. The end node stays where it is, resulting in a sloping straight line between the two points. Play back the audio now and you'll hear it start off quiet and get back up to normal level towards the end. On the channel fader, switch to write mode. Then play back the part and move the channel fader up and down with your mouse. You can see the level change being written into the automation curve as the track plays. Stop the track, switch back to read mode and hit play again to watch your movements played back. Next, switch the track to touch mode. Hit play and grab the fader with the mouse to make a change. Here we're going to reduce the level of the loop just in bars 3 and 4. Notice that as we release the fader it snaps back to the previously written curve. It overdubbed the change that we made as we moved the fader, merging it with what was previously there. Now we switch to latch mode to perform a manual fade out. We set the loop to 16 bars, and we're going to grab the fader 8 bars from the end and gradually fade it down to 0 over 4 or 5 bars. This time when you release the fader at 0 dB, it stays where it is and the 0 value is written for as long as the track plays.